Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. I want to do a range test of this LilyGo T Impulse GPS and LoRa smart wristband, but it would be super handy to have a LoRa receiver paired with a SD or TF card to log the data that's received. Now, I have a bunch of these TTGO LoRa32 V1 boards, so let's use the TTGO LoRa32 V1 with an SD card module to log LoRa packets from a LoRa transmitter. When we look at the Helltech and the TTGO LoRa32 boards, they're virtually identical in terms of pinouts. There's a couple of little differences. When we look at the pins that are used, in the code, we can see that the OLED display isn't any problem because it's I to C. But the LoRa and SD card modules both use SPI. And that should be okay, but apparently there's a problem. The SD card doesn't like to work with the LoRa module. So I've been working with this for a few days. You keep searching the internet here, trying different solutions. And like I said, I tried this here where I put the SD card pins in the V1 board definition in this LoRa code. And this is from the GitHub repository, Shinyan Niligo TTGO LoRa series. But when I add this code here to write to the SD card after a packet is received, well, either the card spontaneously reboots or nothing is written to the SD card. So I could prove that the underlying issue exists. Continuing my search for Helltech LoRa SD card led me to this GitHub repository, Jonas Host TTGO LoRa SD. I fired up VS Code with Platform.io and flashed my board. But you can see here, I never received any packets from my simple transmitter sketch running on TTGO LoRa 32 V1. And this is that Yogo Get LoRa 32 V1 transmitter sketch here. Yeah, I double checked both boards. We're using 915 megahertz, etc. So I wasted my Saturday on a dead end. Now Sunday, I came across this post here, how to use two SPI devices LoRa and SD card on ESP32. The conversation starts off on the right track, but then it devolves into this solution with a shared CS or chip select pin and several resistors. Yeah, that's a little crazy to me. But then I read further and I like this last comment here. You only need to control the chip select pin for each device. High for not active and low for active and don't be active at the same time. And the comment before it saying to avoid pin 21 was handy as well. Okay, let's look at the wiring diagram. Ground goes to ground. VCC goes to the five volt pin on the TTGO LoRa 32 V1 board. SCK goes to pin 17 on the TTGO. MISO goes to 13 on the TTGO. MOSI goes to 12 on the TTGO. And the CS pin goes to pin 23 on the TTGO. Let's take a quick tour of the code. Look for the links in the description below where you can get the code from my GitHub site. The original poster in that previous article is also using a different library for his SD module, this mysd.h. I've been using the built-in SD library from the Arduino IDE but I managed to adapt this MySD library into my code. The real trick in the code here is to use different CS or chip select pin for each SPI device. Then you set the pin mode for the CS pins as output. The idea being that setting a device's CS pin to high deselects that device and setting the CS pin for a device to low selects that device. And as the comment in the Stack Overflow article said, don't be active at the same time. Down here in void loop, you see I set the LoRa CS chip select pin to select. We defined select as low previously in the code. 
and we attempt to receive a LoRa packet. This checks to see if a new packet was actually received. And if a new packet is actually received, we set the LoRa CS pin to deselect and set the SD CS pin to select and we go on to write the output to the SD card and then we set the SD card CS chip select pin to deselect and loop through. Let's upload this to the LoRa 32 V1 board and see what happens. This board is running the simple transmitter sketch at 915 megahertz and you can see that it's sending packets. Here you see my sketch running. It's checking the SD card starting LoRa and it's receiving packets displaying the contents on the screen. We also have the ability to check the LoRa packet contents via the serial monitor here. I'm going to power off the board and eject the SD card Let's put it in our SD card reader. Here, we can read the contents of that log file. This is great. It actually logged all of those packets. Okay, there you have it. We made the TTGO LoRa32-1 play nice with an SD card module attached, and this will log any 915 MHz LoRa packets that are received. Stay tuned for the range test of this LilyGo TM Pulse. Give this video a like. Leave a comment down below. And before you go on to watch more of my LoRa videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.